I, uh, what I have to say tonight might be a little shocking. <laughs> Earth, Earth is due for a change in management. <laughs> Oh, we, we would like to have faith in our world leaders that they are actually controlling things. Oh, no. We are now actively under the control and influence of aliens. I mean, you know, well, look at these poor sled dogs. Sled dogs don't do that. There's only one thing that could explain that. Aliens. <laughs> Next slide, please. <laughs> you, know, you know, what is maybe the most evident single attribute of, of alien influence is the instantaneous craving for bacon. Why did bacon suddenly become such a trend? Did we just, like, you know, realize, hey, bacon tastes pretty good? Oh. <laughs> No. Bacon, if, if you remove the alien influence from your brain, bacon actually tastes like old cigarette butts. <laughs> it's entirely, entirely due to the alien influence, and, and the slash fiction is just another outgrowth of that. I mean, I, mean, I, I realize there's not a logical connection. <laughs> it's, it's more of an emotional feeling, you know, that, that, that satiated quality, like, I have eaten all the bacon, I've eaten all the fatty meat in the world. What else could possibly fulfill me? Kirk Bang and Spock. <laughs> <laughs> Aliens. Next one. <laughs> They, they're, they're not just controlling your mind. <laughs> your, the most fundamental basic impulses of, 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 of your life are being controlled by aliens. And yes, I am talking about sex. <laughs> You're not going to be attracted to your loved ones, your, your spouses anymore. <laughs> It, you know, who knows? But it's going to be, things are going to come down from the sky. And all you're going to be able to think of is, yeah, I could do that. <laughs> Aliens. Next slide, please. <laughs> Even our food production will be affected. That lovely, delicious steak that you have for your Sunday dinner, oh yeah, it'll still be by cows. It'll still come from their bodies. <laughs> but who's hurting them? <laughs> Mind-controlled cowboys riding genetically modified rabbits. <laughs> I don't think I need to elaborate on that. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> and not only that, you know, you know the, the real danger uh, uh, of the alien influence in our, in our media and our lives is that we're going to start making the poorest decisions. <laughs> that you have, you know, I mean, you know, like, you know, this preparation age just isn't cutting it. <laughs> You know, I'm, I gotta try start. I gotta try using some other fluids of some kind. And oh, 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 oh! I do not want to go into detail. <laughs> but no, seriously, seriously, the aliens, the aliens are going to be really messing up our health. Uh, next slide. <laughs> and they're freaky looking. <laughs> aliens are really freaky looking. I know you're you're expecting that sort of uh, close encounters of the third kind. You know kindly uh, UFO alien gray thing with like the big head and the big eyes and you're like, hey, I love you. No. It's like, it's like Mardi Gras on acid. <laughs> when they come down, yeah, it, uh, you're, you're, the, the kids are going to run away screaming. It's, it's not going to be a pretty sight. Next slide. <laughs> oh. 
I'll just give you a moment to absor uh, absorb this chart here. Uh, <laughs> because the aliens aren't just influencing uh, the media, they are influencing our minds, and you will start seeing uh, what I. The, the colloquial term is ghosts, but what they are is a certain uh, post-psychic retinal image. <laughs> that that will, you know, ghost is a nice one-syllable word, so we'll just use that. You know, and, and you will you will see things that should not be, and it's because the aliens are hurting you. We're cattle, people. We're just cattle. They're hurting us. Where? Next slide. <laughs> one, one thing to be aware of with when the aliens come down is that they're not going to speak in cultured, educated, intellectual tones like you would expect an advanced race from another planet to speak in. <coughs> actually, you know, th this is a common misconception. They sound actually a lot more like old time prospectors. <laughs> <laughs> Their, their vocal inflections are, are, I don't know where they got this from. You know, I, I think they were monitoring uh, our broadcasts years ago and they just picked up some old westerns and they figured, oh, all Earth people talk like that. But just, just, just be aware. So, so, if some old tiny prospector comes up to you and starts saying horns swaddling Kurt Legend or something like that, aliens. <laughs> Next slide. <laughs> And they will affect not only our minds and our lives, but they will affect what we choose as pets. <laughs> They're trying to, to condition us to a more purely technological society. We're gonna, we're gonna get rid of our dogs and our cats. We're gonna start walking microwave ovens and toasters and blenders. It's not going to be a pretty future. Next slide. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll also barf a lot. <laughs> because, because um, you know, when the alien influence gets to a certain advanced point, it, it just feels strange. And you're like, what's happening to me? I don't know. Your equilibrium is all disoriented. And, you know, what does your body do in that situation? It, 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 it barfs. It, it ejects. And... Um, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be hell. I, that's the point I'm trying to get here. It's going to be hell. <laughs> Next slide. <sighs> so in, so in summary, the, the 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 best thing you can possibly do is that you know, if you've got a dog, if you've got a cat, uh, a, a parakeet, a goldfish, just just take that take that pet. Hold it close. <laughs> Remember that bond with Mother Earth and its creatures. That's gonna save you. It's gonna keep you away from them. It's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna break, sever the bonds from, from extraterrestrial forces, you know, and the, and, the, and, and the biology of other planets. Just anchor yourself to, to the, the animals and the wildlife of this world. You gotta do it. <laughs> you just gotta do it. Thank you. Woo!